In this video, I will be sharing my first resume that I have created for web developer junior position. And at that time, I had no experience, fresh out of college. And as you can imagine, it's going to be completely empty. But as I'll be going over, I'll be criticizing it. Uh, I'll be talking about what I could improve on. But again, that resume helped me to get my first job. So hopefully, by the end of it, you'll be able to learn something new, see if you can improve your own resume upon it. So let's do it. Okay, here's my uh, resume that I used for my junior developer position. So this is my first draft or the first final resume that I have ever uh, created. And what I'm looking at it, I'm looking at the structure of it first. I'm not looking at uh, uh, if I have any typos in there. I'm not looking at any grammar mistakes. First, I'm just looking at the structure because that's what's most important. And for obvious reasons, I have covered some of the information. Uh, now, to the summary, the first thing I see is, why do I have this bullet pointed? Like, this is just a text, right? This is a small a small paragraph that should be about why is it uh, they should be hiring me, right? So this is a kind of like an error right there. But as I'm looking at this right now already, it's kind of short. First of all, it just looks like one sentence. And what it's saying is you're yeah, very interested in working as a back-end, uh, front-end uh, develop developer. Uh, this probably should be saying back-end, not just back-end front-end developer for your corporation, where I can use my skills that I have for learned from tutoring, learning, and the working on site projects. Now, this is good, but it could be better in terms of where do I see myself heading in the future? Do I want to like keep on continue to be back-end developer? Do I want to move on to a, a senior tech lead position later in the future in five years time? So maybe give a little bit of that sauce just to see where it is that I, you're heading. And that is something that I don't have it out here. And I could have it. That would be probably a nice thing to have. Next is highlights. Uh, and I have about four bullet points I see. Could it be nice to have a little bit more maybe over here another four bullet points just so like not to have this space as empty and to have a bit more information because right now this is not too much. Um, but you know, it got the job done. Next is technical skills. Now, this is, I kind of like it because here we can see that we have split up the information, we have operating system, and now we know what type of operating system we're look, working with, uh, programming languages, software tools, so I really like that. Now, if I'm applying for, as I'm saying, back and front end uh, developer position, I don't really need to have a C, C++ in there. Those things are not really related to the position. Now, the fact that I have my SQL and SQL, uh, could be just one of them, to be honest. Uh, this is fine. Linux commands, uh, Slack commands. Yeah, so those are the things that are also irrelevant to web programming because those are just uh, COBOL languages, COBOL things. So we don't really care about that. Uh, software tools. Uh, Visual Studio. Um, you, if you're at the beginning and you were doing this type of a work using C, C++ and you're using Visual Studio, I will say that's okay because there's a Visual Studio code, uh, even though there are two uh, uh, different IDEs, but it's still an IDE. It means just you know how to use IDE, you have worked with one before, so there's nothing wrong with this one. Microsoft Office, uh, arguable. Photoshop, don't need that. Sublime, okay. Uh, Komodo, it's fine, I guess. Uh, uh, Rational roles, yeah, so this one you don't need. So when you're applying to a specific job, make sure that whatever languages, you say in there whatever tools you specify, uh, you uh, are pointing out to the job you're applying for. So in our case, since we're going for a junior developer job, full stack, we should reflect those specific tools. And let me, as we're doing this, let me also highlight uh, the things that we don't really need on this resume. Okay, education. Um, so that's good. So you'll have a diploma, computer program analysis, uh, January present, or obviously this is old. Uh, there should be a lot more things in here, but this is a resume has been outdated for a very, very long time for obvious reasons, since it's version 1.0. Uh, and here we have a certificate technology internship. This was probably from a high school when I was in there. So that's fine. Like if you have the specific things, whatever technology related, you can keep it on your uh, resume. Now, notice how I don't have any uh, experience yet. It will come to uh, later, but they are irrelevant to a job. So if you have like no experience right now, no so ever in the field you're applying for. So in, in our case, it's web development. 
it's completely fine as long as you're straight to a point of what it is that you are bringing onto the table what is you have accomplished what it is that you have so uh, education yeah uh, academic projects so again since it's a web developer uh, project we don't really need to have uh, things that aren't related to web programming so we don't care about this even though it still says design logic to validate the 13 digit EN number so I guess that's fine like uh, in terms of like I have explained what it is that I did use basic classes blah, blah blah so it is telling us what is I did what type of uh, uh, problem I was solving so I like that but again it's just irrelevant to the role so this whole thing is like yeah weird same thing for this one this one just has to do uh, with a COBOL uh, RPG type of uh, uh, language uh, IBM so we don't even need those specific project here at all but this was just written to get a job to show something that I have something but uh, that's fine. So this one is fine. Here we have web-based uh, uh, inventory. So whatever I was doing here, I designed a web-based inventory, a website system using a standard programming uh, techniques. Okay, so uh, this test tell me what I did and uh, what type of approach I took. The website was uh, made to manage the ability to add, delete, and restore inventory from database. Okay, so this is really good. This tells uh, a person uh, a recruiter or like uh, a senior whoever is reviewing this uh, resume it tells them that I have done a CRUD uh, job operations so that is already a good plus now the one thing I do not like right now is see how right now we have two bullet points here and now I see we have three bullet points here make sure that whenever you are having this text going to the next page make sure you're moving this to the next page so me as a recruiter as a person who is reviewing your resume I don't have to flip pages so you want to make a convenience to other people so uh, we're just going to skip that we don't care about this right now uh, employment so again I don't I don't have any real employment the only employment I have here is just the fact that I was a TA a lab assistant or the tutor teaching students one-on-one -on -one. Uh, while I was uh, studying uh, so if you don't have that if you don't have any type of uh, employment or like uh, so the way actually I left it here I should say is that I left it as at the bottom as secondary as not a, too relevant to a position because here the first thing I started off with summary highlights technical skills education right I didn't put this at the beginning because it's nice but it's it, it's type of a side thing this one's not as uh important so uh that's why i don't think like this type of a thing even helped me to get my first job uh but still it's nice to have to show that you were doing something while you were studying or whatever it is that you were doing to show a full timeline okay uh so then i did a uh, volunteering work uh so helped or whatever it is i had to help with so this is descriptive uh, help with uh, setting a, a front helping desk uh, and uh, control the and control the who could uh, or could not uh, go into a specific uh, presentation yes yeah, so uh this could be a uh, refactored in terms of uh grammar uh in terms of like wording so this could be of course changed quite a bit uh, but we're not gonna do that of course so we're just gonna highlight it instead that this needs some work okay uh next is a uh, executive designer uh this is just another volunteering work at the unix linux club whatever it is that uh, i did wasn't even a too big of a deal to be honest uh next one is uh, assistant it computer administrator okay so and also notice another thing is that i have a start and an end date on everything so if we scroll up we can see that okay education when did i start when did i finish uh same thing for this one when did i start when did i finish also i will say for the projects it's also nice to have uh, a date of when it is that uh not necessarily when you start when you finish but uh just let's say uh you're doing on september 2011 for example yeah it was on that period of the month uh you can say that not a problem which is nice to have I don't have it here so that's uh, also a red thing right there uh employment that's fine volunteer uh yeah that's fine now uh teacher assistant okay th that's fine too so I just assistant first and third graders students with helping math and reading 
yeah, uh, that's completely fine. Uh, so you just put whatever volunteering work you've done in the past. As you can see, when I was applying to a junior developer position, the type of volunteering work I have is, is not relevant to web developer position to what it is that I was applying for. But this is just, I guess, nice things to have to show them that you're doing something else besides programming, that you do have either social life or you do have like some sort of other interest besides uh, programming. Okay, uh, next is uh, extracurricular activities. So here I just went onto a hackathon uh, and, I did a small, and I wrote a small description of what it is that I was doing there as a part of a team and then certified MUN. So then whatever it is I was doing there uh, and the dates, of course, as well are there. So I guess that's it. Like this was my first resume that I wrote. Now, the type of things we could also improve on is that the way we have our, let's say right now, highlights, technical skills, uh, the one thing I sh actually I've noticed is that they're not perfectly aligned. So see those uh, bullet points? They're not aligned with operating systems. Or those operating systems, those titles, they're not aligned with those bullet points. So that's probably the one thing I should do as well. Or when it comes to education for that matter, uh, same deal. Uh, the, those names, they need to be aligned with those bullet points to make sure that whatever comes next, uh, again, this is a title of the specific section. Whatever comes after needs to be indented. And those things are not indented perfectly. These ones are not even indented at all. Uh, these ones are indented. Um, and this one suggests, yeah. So there are some indentation issue out there uh, that needs to be fixed. But this was my first resume uh, that I ever had. And I'm pretty sure you guys will have much, much, much better resume than this. But I hope this actually gave you an idea of uh, what things you could add to your resume, what it is that you can improve on, uh, what is that you have maybe uh, missed, or what is that I did wrong maybe on this resume. Well, to be honest, there are a lot of things I did wrong. And after when you have the experience, to be honest, the first thing you have is the employment. You'll have the employment on my next resume, I don't have highlights, but I'll probably create a different uh, a video for that on my uh, current resume to show the improvement, to show you how it is I went from my current resume to the second resume to my final resume, final version of it, and how I came back updating that resume. But again, if you're just applying for the first time and you do need help on writing a resume, maybe applying for jobs, you need some mentorship help, I do have a program where uh, I'm helping out other uh, beginners and juniors uh, with their uh, skills uh, with their resume. It's called thetechdevpool.com. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. Or, and if you're just uh, applying and you don't have, let's say, like uh, projects uh, on your resume, I do have a video on the project ideas. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. And the type of projects are left in there. A the type of projects I actually uh, presented. So when I went to, to uh, an interview, so that's actually one thing to highlight is that when I was in the interview, I did show two more projects that I do not have on my re on this resume currently. And uh, that was a mistake. But again, when I went into the interview, I took out my laptop, I showed them those two projects. They were very, very impressed, very, very happy. So when you'll be going over that video, one of the projects I have out there is like a 10 hour challenge where you're just building out a single page application using things you have never used before. And uh, it helped me to stand out while I was talking to um, the interviewer. And again, um, those are the type of things you want to have. So I hope it helped uh, while we're doing this to show you how my first resume looked like. And as you can see, I had no experience. It was still kind of a mess, uh, but it was like a little bit easier to uh, navigate through. So still get some points on that. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned something new. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video.